Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of a card review. So, it's a card that uh, it's been out for a while now, but I wanted to go back and make sure that I reviewed it. And, you know, because I felt like I was moving on to new cards and I was eventually going to forget about this card. So, this card is Pot of Wealth. Its card art is interesting. <laughs> so, another pot card. So, you know how powerful pot cards can be. You know, Pot of Duality, Pot of Avarice, Pot of Greed, just. The pots are real, so we're of course going to get some more pot. We're going to get high off of this pot, and let's see what it does. So, it is a normal spell card that reads, Shuffle into the deck a total of three pendulum monsters that are in your graveyard or face up in your extra deck. Then draw two cards. You cannot special summon monsters during the turn you activate this effect, except for pendulum summon. You can only activate one pot of wealth per turn. So, uh, we won't be getting this card anytime soon because this is another Korean exclusive, but... Uh, you know, it's just interesting to see uh, Konami go ahead and give uh, this whole pendulum aspect its own uh, pot of avarice or pot of the economy, I guess, in this sense. So, well, just like pot of uh, the economy, pot of avarice, you have a stipulation. So it has to be three pendulum monsters in your graveyard or in your extra deck. And you take uh, take them, shovel them in the deck, and draw two. But of course, you're hindered by the fact that you can only pendulum summon. But hopefully, if you're using a pendulum summon based deck, a pendulum based deck, you'll be pendulum summoning. So that doesn't seem like too much of a stipulation, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, you can't special summon, or you can't conduct your battle phase, it's just like, hey, you can only, uh, pendulum summon, which is, should be fine, you know? So, of course, when you think of, uh, of a pendulum-based deck, the deck that you think of the most when it comes to pendulum and pendulum summoning is, of course, Cleepwood. Uh, Cleepwood is, uh, you know, one of the top decks of the format here in the CCG, and it's a pendulum-based deck. It's probably uh, the first really good pendulum-based deck, and, uh, you know, we're, of course, we're bound to see some more as uh, time progresses, but, um, of course, that's probably what you were thinking about, uh, the deck you were thinking about when, of course, you want to use this card. So, um, of course, um, you know, your pendulum monsters, uh, they can, you know, your tool can get MST, they can get destroyed, it goes to the extra deck, and you're just like, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. But when it comes to clay put, this card is not the best card for that deck, of course. Um, you know, unless it's tools, you don't want to put your pendulum base mon your pendulum monsters back. You want them to be in the extra deck so you can pendulum them some of them later and have a whole bunch of monsters on the field to tribute or, you know, attempt to OTK your opponent. So... You know, it's not really the best to go ahead and shuffle those monsters back into your deck unless you have some tools or some scouts in there. You know, and, and to tell you the truth, if, you, if you, your three scouts got hit and all three of your scouts are in the extra deck, yeah, that hurts. So, you know, Pot of Wealth would be helpful in that instance, but, you know, any other Pendulum monster, you know, you really don't want back. So, um, yeah, you know, so... Uh, this card is, of course, um, a plus one, because you, you play it, you take three, shovel them back, you draw two, so you, you use one card to draw two, just like, you know, almost every other pot card, you know, pot of avarice, pot of greed, pot of duplicity, or dichotomy, uh, just like that's the only one that's, you know, not a plus one that I can think of at the top of my mind that are actually relevant pot is a uh, pot of duality, which, is, of course, is a one for one, so you zero out, but, um, you know, this card, it's just like, you know, if, if there were other pendulum-based archetypes, I could maybe see it. But uh, you know, if it was like a little, if it's a little bit that pendulum splashed in with a little bit of deck, maybe I could see it. You know, um, of course, there's also those short monsters out in the graveyard as well. So that's another bonus that you can do because, of course, uh, when they're when they're synchro summon, when they're, when they're pretty much when they're removed from the field and uh, they're supposed to be sent together, they go back to extra deck. So even if you attribute uh, them. Uh, they still go back to the extra deck, so, um, you know, the graveyard effect may not happen that often, but, you know, um, you know, if you don't get your summon off properly, so, um, you know, if you pendulum summon a whole bunch of monsters and your opponent flips up that sound in the morning, then you're going to the graveyard, you know, and if your opponent steals storm and roaches you, you're going to the graveyard, uh, but, of course, there's another way you can get your pendulum monsters to the graveyard, and that's, of course, by Xing. so, of course, with, um, you know, Scout and the Trampolinks and stuff like that, uh, the deck does have an ability to exceed, so if you go into various exceeds and you detach your pendulum-based monsters, they will go to the graveyard. So, uh, that is some ways that you can go ahead and fill up the graveyard, so you can go ahead and use this card. But, um, there's just one more thing. That's, I'm not saying that this card is bad, you know. It's it's fine, it's just, it's not useful for Kleeplay. 
And there's a reason why this card isn't used for free play. So I guess this is going to be kind of like a two for one review. But there's a card that I want to go ahead and compare to this card just for free play and determine the reason why this card uh, shouldn't be playing free play or won't be playing free play. And the card that I'm looking at is uh, Climate Change. So uh, Climate Change uh, used to be called, um, uh, was it Acle Apocalyport? Or, uh, uh, Apocalypse or whatever, but they changed it to uh, climate change. So, uh, you know, I still call it that cleat put, even though it's probably like cliff forks or or cleat or whatever. But it's it's probably in English. It's probably pronounced cleat because that that would how it be the the climate change. It had to be a C, you know. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and review this card. And you're probably going to realize why um, a, a Kleeput deck wouldn't run Pot of Wealth, because they have their own card that's better. So this is Climate Change. It is a normal trap card. So uh, you can, of course, chain it. So if your opponent tries to, like, you know, hit you with MST or something, you can just go ahead and chain it and get its effect. So um, add up to three. So it doesn't even have to be three. Add up to three. Face up, clean. Pendulum monsters from your extra deck to your hand. You can activate one climate change per turn. So tell me, why do I want to activate Pot of Wealth, take three, shuffle them back into the deck, draw two, and possibly not draw into something decent when I can just go ahead and play climate change, grab my three that I want, and put them back in my hand? You know, put put the scout back, pendulum summon right back, you know, and go ahead and get my disc back so I contribute. You know, it's kind of like why clip points don't need Pot of Wealth just because Climate Change is just a better card run. And of course, Climate Change is here in the TCG. Um, you probably don't see that often. I uh, Maybe you see maybe like a tech one or, you know, just like the field spell. Maybe some people tech one of it. But, um, you know, if you need to come back into the duel, if your opponent MST'd all three of your scouts and you're just straight out, then of course Climate Change will get you right back because you just go Climate Change, grab me back my three scouts. So, you know. Unlike Pot of Wealth, where you're just like, all right, well, I'm all out of scouts, so Pot of Wealth, target three scouts, put them back in my deck, shuffle, draw two. Oh, no, I didn't draw into a scout. Oh, no, I didn't draw into a summon result to even get the scout. You know, well, this, Climate Change, straight up, just grab the card from the extra deck, put them back in your hand, and continue to duel. So, um, that's the reason why I feel like Pot of Wealth isn't going to be good right now. Now, in the upcoming future, when there's more pendulum-based decks, and... If Konami decides not to give them their own climate change like this, then I could possibly see some Pot of Wealth play. But, you know, as of right now, looking at the card Pot of Wealth right now, when the only good pendulum based deck is Kleeput, I'd say that this card's not worth it. That climate change is a much better choice. And I'd say taking one climate change over one Pot of Wealth in Kleeput is a better choice, in my opinion. Alright, so there you go. I wanted to go ahead and review Pot of Wealth. So, of course, I will be back next week with some more card reviews, but I just wanted to get this out of the way, and we can continue moving on reviewing got some new cards. I got some cards on the top of my mind that I, of course, want to review and talk about, so I'm looking forward to it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Card Reviews. So tell me what you guys think about Pot of Wealth, and tell me what you guys think about Climate Change in the uh, comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. And uh, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, Fake Card Friday, and I will see you guys next week uh, with some more card view. Alright, thanks for watching.